So we are doing, what does God want you to know right now? What are the messages that God would like to give you? What is he trying to show you? What is it that you could benefit from hearing from him right now? So as usual, we've got only two groups this time. So we've got group one and group two. So we've got black obsidian for group one. I'm gonna pull some other cards here so you can discern. And then a white quartz for group two. But we're gonna see what God is helping you surrender with or surrender to. So let's see. Ooh, group one, surrendering to your full power. Nice. And then group two, surrender stubbornness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you want to go by the words on the cards or the color of the crystal or even the timestamps below. And I'm also, ooh, um, I feel like Archangel Gabriel is here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and shuffle on camera. 111 on the timer as I look over. So group one, maybe you're seeing 111 or 1111 a lot. Group two, maybe you're seeing 222 or 212 or like 422, 522. Any double digits I feel are um, signs and synchronicities from the divine, right? But he's definitely wanting us to have open minds and surrender judgment of others. Surrender to non-judgment. And there are three cards here each for each group. Group one, thank you. And Three. So three cards for group two, please. Nice. Thank you. Strong energy today. It's God energy. And these two right here. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, I've got reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. So reframing that state of mind that you're in. Um, he's not doing it to you. Maybe you're, you guys have been like, why is he doing this to me? Why is the universe screwing me over? Why does all this bad stuff happen in my life? But you know, it's only as bad as we make it out to be, okay? Don't get me wrong, tragedy, tragedy strikes and that can cause a lot of grief and sorrow and pain. But when we can have trust and have faith that there is a higher power and there is a heaven and there is another side and then we don't necessarily die. It's just our physical vessel here that goes. And everybody's deaths are destined. They have to go the way they go at the time that they decide to go. All right. So as usual, if you're not into watching the cards come out, you can uh, go to the timestamps below, but on the bottom I've got power. Own your power. Every step, every storm brings a fresh new beginning. There is always, when something ends in our lives, it's always making room for new and bigger and better. Unforeseen things are happening. The universe and God is working behind the scenes to help you. You just can't see it right now. you see that? Power, power, power. Also, here's this word that's been coming around quite a bit. Integrity and truth. Tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. <clears throat> All right, what else? What else does God want them to know? He's got a few other cards here in this surrender deck also. So... I'm being drawn to pull two more cards for these. We're not going to flip those over just yet, groups one and two. And if you're drawn to both groups, that's fine too. On the bottom of the deck, we've got surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So in other words, I feel like they're saying worry about yourself right now. He's saying don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about how other people are seeing things or their thoughts or beliefs. Mm 
on the bottom of the deck. I've got autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So by this autumn, you guys are going to be really rolling in it, you know? The prosperity that you've been wanting to come towards you. Happiness, joy. Whatever you feel like you need to do, my loves. Whatever you feeling, you know, if you're in a lot of despair and hopelessness so right now you're going to be a lot better off we've just got to keep the faith and trust that it all happens for a reason right any other cards for group one and group two one more card for group one I said group three, but it's group two. And some of these messages on these cards might be repeats of each other, but you know, we never, we never know. We never know when somebody could use double and triple reassurance, right? <clears throat> Losing yourself in creativity and vastness. All right, so we shall be right back with group one, the Black Obsidian Surrendering to Your Power. Well, hello group one, for those of you that chose the Black Obsidian or the Surrender to Your Full Power, or maybe you just like the idea of number one. <clears throat> so we are going to cleanse the space and ask only that those who are here to serve our highest truth and good, and of course God, because he's like the Christ white light, right? He's the source. We're only dealing with light energies, okay? We don't fuck around with that negative lower vibrational BS. Though some of you guys, if you're watching this and it's the first time ever viewing an oracle or tarot read because of what you were conditioned to believe before and or your religious beliefs, you are in for quite a treat and you're probably suffering from some of those uh, lower vibrational energies and emotions, right? Black obsidian is really good for, obsidian is really good for warding off negative lower vibrational energy. Wow, I, I did have to Google it because there are so many different crystals and stones. And some I know, okay. Here's a gr really quick example. My step kiddo had a friend whom she went to church with. And anyways, one day they were on the phone. Long story short, Elena mentioned crystals to this friend. And um, a parent was walking by the girl's room and he overheard it. And he stepped into his child's room and said, don't mess with the crystals. Those crystals and all that stuff come from the devil it is all tied to the devil and this is the biggest crock of bullshit anybody could ever try to teach their children okay I'm, I'm starting to get a little upset because the fact that they find truth in that is completely absurd okay look mother earth God created earth right this is what you believe on the first day this and so on and so forth these and especially crystals like these beautiful stones grow in the earth. So how in the hell could they be tied to the devil when God is the one that created the earth and these come from the earth? How, how, okay? So there's just a little food for thought, okay? Surrendering to your full power, group one. So you might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Leo coming in strong here. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So there's two different things coming in. Stepping into your full power and releasing all self-doubt. But also um, the second part is, you know, it says playing it small. You are uh, like, yeah, we're going to say that. Um, a victim mentality, okay? Everything is not happening to you. It's happening for you. I don't know if you stuck around for the intro, but there was a message that came out like that. That's interesting. What card are we going to start with? Well, we've got a lot of cards, too. I didn't even realize how 
we're going to start with these other surrender cards. Okay. <clears throat> So there's a need in changing perspectives and, and like not everybody is out to get you. Not everybody thinks the worst in you. Okay, group one, <clears throat> surrender the idea you can fix someone. So when we find insecurities in ourselves, or we're unhappy and we hold a little bit of resentment towards ourselves or even denial, we reflect that out to the people around us and it reflects back to us. So what I've come to know is that if things, people get on my ever loving nerves or I'm like, oh, the audacity of that bitch. Could you believe that? It's because they're doing something that I would not be comfortable doing. It's a reflection of me. It's a reflection of my thoughts and feelings on the inside going out. And then sometimes we just think they're val validating, okay? So, so stop expecting also how Stop expecting you out of everybody, group one, okay? There's a little bit of tough love God is wanting to bring through to y'all. And he says it is needed right now. That's why the lion is here. It is needed. He's needing to roar and he needs you to hear him. And that's why it is titled today, What Does God Need to Let You Know? It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So some of you guys are on this awakening spiritual journey or this path to um, finding your true authentic selves, but we can't fix everybody around us. Though we wanna shake them and open their eyes and have them see from our point of view and our perspective, but that's just, we can't like just surrender to it, okay? And do you, group one, surrender to your full power and work on you for a little while. And finally, surrendering to that inner peace cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily so taking time out to breathe you get a minute and you step outside instead of keeping that phone in your hand Focus on an area in your yard, a tree, a plant, an object near you. Um, if you have yard decorations also is what I'm getting here. Focus on the bright, the colors of it or something. Okay, so I was, as I was reading this, I was drawn to pull um, a clarity card and I think it's for this card right here because one side says, let go of the unvirtuous person whose word means little and whose actions are indecisive. And this could be you, yourself. You could be, you know, I'm feeling like it's going two ways here. It's you and your partner. Hold on here. Look at things going differently because they soon will. This is what you're wanting. This is what you're fighting so hard to have right here in group one is this inner peace but what's going around it is this idea that you can fix the person you're focusing too much on somebody else in your life group one you are needing to focus on yourself and this does not mean focus on yourself by going out and buying yourself like this isn't the go ahead to go ahead and satisfy those material needs and wants you want new makeup more candles more crystals no that is not what this is saying this is saying to seriously sit within yourself and take accountability let those walls of denial and regret and grief down for a little bit and just sit with it Ask God to help you with it if you need to, okay? Let go of the unvirtuous person whose word means little and whose actions are indecisive. So this could be that person you are worrying about, but it could also obtain to you too because I mentioned that we reflect. We reflect our inner to other people around us and it reflects back at us and then we think it's their fault. It's them making us feel this way or they're implying this or going with assumptions, but this is not the case here, okay? Whew, okay, on to the next card. 
Let's get this little fairy message. Expressing your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you are awesome. I was speaking, I've been speaking with a couple of different people the past couple of weeks, actually. Several different people. I do not know what that noise is. I think it's somebody outside next door. But anyways... Yeah, you're weird. Yeah, you're silly. Yeah, you act like a big fucking kid sometimes. Sometimes you're really inappropriate and you got a little raunchy mindset there and that's okay. That is okay. It's uh, expressing yourself. I was about to pause it and go out there and see what was going on, but then it stopped right whenever I grabbed the mouse to pause it. Oh, that's funny. So, you know, if you want to be eccentric, if you want to dress eccentric, if, you know, sometimes I'm fixing to be 40 here in March and sometimes I feel like, you know, I've got the mindset and the inner wisdom of an 80 year old lady. And you see these 80 year old ladies on TikTok, they gives no fucks. They dress how they want to dress. They say what they want to say and they could care less because life is too short. Life is too fucking short to waste your time and energy on worrying about what other people think about you and how they and their opinions on you. Life is too short to worry about somebody else's thing that they're doing. Happiness. There's some dolphins right there for you, group one. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. If you are not in a state of happiness, if you're not happy, if you're not finding this inner peace, at least from time to time, or being able to sit down saying, all right, all is well, it's cool, it's good, he's got this, I can hand it over. If you're not in this state, more than a couple of times a week, you are severely on the wrong path, my friend. And this is you. This is you needing to surrender. Surrender the idea you can fix other people. Maybe you need to step away from that situation. Completely leave. Make them leave. Uh, cut off ties. Maybe it's a friendship. I don't even know. It's some sort of relationship I'm feeling here, though. There's a wake-up call. This. Oh, okay. He's like, this. This is your wake-up call, my loves. Group one, okay? He sees your potential. He sees your infinite potential. He, he has infinite love for us all. Black, white, gay, straight, lesbian, bi-curious, bisexual, trees, flowers, snakes, all of it. Everything. Everything. He has compassion and love for us, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry about those people. Don't. Nobody's going to hell, Okay. Nobody is going to hell. I have to say that. That's like, nobody's going to die either. We've got Ivy, number 14 or number 5. And I get number 5 because 1 plus 4 is 5 in numerology. That's how we break that down. But listen, getting out in nature... Connecting with Mother Earth. The number five signifies the need for change. And you know there's a need for change. But I feel like like this is reminding me of fire right here. And it's like your ego self has really got a hold of you in the fear department. The book... Um, this is a signal to deepen existing relationships and to put more energy into your social self-care. Spend time with those you care about. Call a lost friend. Be present with those who equally support you and watch as your relationships reach a new level of commitment. Trust that you will be held by those around you and you will be rewarded with limitless growth. Spend time with those you care about. Deepen existing relationships. So seeing it from also seeing it from somebody else's perspective, surrendering to your full power, surrendering to the fact that maybe you weren't the nicest person. Maybe you haven't done the best things in life. Maybe you've made a lot of mistakes, but that's okay. The most important thing is that you are learning from them now. The past is in the past. It is dead and gone. Nobody can change it, right? You can't change it. It's over. It's done with. There's no sense in worrying and harping about it. The thing is that you can surrender 
and want to move forward and learn from all those past instances and want to be better and say, okay, I want to be more open. I want to be more understanding of my individuals in my life and my loved ones. I want I want to know that it's okay to have peace with situations and scenarios going on in other people's lives around me. Okay. That's it on that one. Let's see what this card says. Ooh, the cosmos. Creativity and vastness. And look, we've got 41 and 14, so the number 4114. So you might be seeing a lot of mirroring numbers, like I mentioned earlier, like 121 palindromes palindromes there's a lot of green and yellow here and i'm feeling like heart chakra and solar plexus they are real things the energy centers are a real thing maybe maybe um maybe that keeps crossing your path as the chakras or meditation if you have a hard time also positive affirmations are coming to mind and then you're like oh I wouldn't remember to do that. Well, you're essentially speaking it out into the universe that you're not going to remember it, okay? Words are powerful. They call it spelling for a reason because words cast spells. When we have an idea of ourselves, we essentially become that idea. When you have an idea about another person and you're not willing to see them from a different perspective, that's all you're going to see in that person. Holy crap group one radical acceptance of yourself and those around you it is time to have complete and radical acceptance this will help you surrender to that inner peace complete and utter and radical acceptance Oof! and there's that fire i was feeling right here there's that fire he doesn't want you to be afraid he is not going to He's not going to condemn somebody for, say for instance, if there is um, a guy who thinks he's in the like with other guys. Like, he's not going to condemn that because hearts are hearts. Love is love. Love is the purest and strongest form. And right now, you're struggling because a lot of your fear. Like, if we want to go here, that devil energy is hardcore on you guys. The devil energy and that power, that lower negative vibrational power, has got a hold of you, group one, really, really well, I do feel. You're seeing it from the dark side of things. He needs you to come to the light. He needs this to be your wake-up call. I, I mean, and he wants me to say, I swear to baby Jesus right now, this is him. This is him speaking to you through me, Okay. This is what these were made for, to communicate, because he can't reach his big god hand down here through the clouds and smack you in the face with the fucking message, can he? It's different realms, okay? And no, he's not holding anything against me for cursing, because I am still human, and it is a way I express my individuality. Boom! <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. He wants you to lead from your heart, my loves. And if you're seeing, if you're feeling like you need to condemn people or point fingers and shame and judge, and if you're fearful about things, it's coming from the wrong place. It's not God giving you this message, okay? It's not God telling you, oh, set them on fire. They want to be bisexual. That's a man wanting to dress in women's clothing. No, that's not, a, no, that's not him. That is the devil, just know. God is love only and acceptance and kindness and consideration. Self-respect. And look how she's holding herself and she's holding herself. And she's standing here in her authenticity, proud, and she is as well. Respect yourself. You're the best judge of what's right. Exactly what I was just talking about, essentially, like... You know it's not right. You want to love that person. You want to be accepting of them. But what if, what if just being accepting by them is going to make you, God, shun you or, or lay judgment against you? That's, that's, that's not God giving you that info there, honey. That's not God. Take a risk. Take a risk in it. Also, the need to move around some. Maybe dance, move, sing. 
It will help raise your vibration, okay? You have the power within to move mountains, which means you have the power within to overcome this and accept yourself and surrendering to that inner peace. Dance. Look, what did I just say? Move around and dance? Holy crap. Do some jumping jacks. Get that heart rate going, you know, in a good way. Go out for a run or a quick walk or something to really get your blood going and pumping. Share your gifts and talents with the world. So this could be pertaining to somebody who has an idea that they have these spiritual gifts. <clears throat> but also, creativity card came out here, right here. So maybe, um, maybe you have a really good niche for painting or sketching or drawing. Maybe it's something you used to do whenever you were a child. Whatever you used to do as a child, bring that back up, okay? Bring it back up. Let that inner child come out and play. Outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachment. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. So this is for those in group one. If this has fully resonated with you on a freaking another level that is just blowing your mind right now, I would suggest this could be something for you to say, my loves, okay? Surrendering to that openness. Being open-minded, surrendering to your path, okay? Remember, I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there is a plan far beyond what I can steer through my fears and illusions. Exactly. That's what it is. Fears and illusions that have been brought up. That you've been taught to think differently. You've been conditioned. You've been programmed to think and do a certain way around things. And it's not the true way. It's not the true way, group one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised this came out. Owls may be of significance to somebody. Hey, the time is one, two, three, actually, by the way. So one, two, three, that signals, um, that's ascending numbers. So, you know, you're gonna, you're taking the right steps. You're getting there. You're taking the right steps in that direction for your path. Allow me divine to always accept the right assistance, the right assistance, right? Like we were talking earlier, like that lower vibrational negative devil energy talk and essentially, it's coming from your fucking ego, okay? It's like the ego's on the left side, that's the devil, and then the, the divine is on the right side, and that's the little angel. If the information feels like it's coming up from your left side, and it's trying to tell you to down people, shame them, it's trying to shame you, it's trying to give you doubt in yourself, that's not the energy. So we can say, thank you for your input, but you're going to take a back seat drive today, okay? I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. Look at all these, these messages telling you that he's ready to help you with this. Because he knows you've been struggling, group one. He knows you've been struggling. You've knelt down in fear and tears and sadness and regret. You've been kneeling down on your knees and asking him. There's a dragonfly there too. Wow, you guys. I don't even know where to freaking put these freaking cards. We're just going to put them right there. And I need a sippy of water. Ooh. Lord, he's making my mouth really dry because I'm talking about... Looky here. You're leading by example. You... you Mm, yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of you have small children that are either yours or grandkids. Lead by example for them. You know in your heart of hearts what's right, right? Ooh, release those toxic relationships. Release those toxic belief patterns. <laughs> Respect yourself enough to want to release the toxicity within you because... This is your sign. This is your message from God, Group One. He's like, I don't even know how else, how else to get through to y'all because he's been trying to send you signs and you've ignored it and you've, you've discounted it as a strange coincidence or happenstance. Oh, what a wonderful kawinky dink that was. You're not even realizing these little signs and these answers he's trying to send to you, these wake up calls as complete and utter miracles and blessings. And we also have that. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. If it's the same cycle going round and round, which those of you who are already on the verge of, you know, like you know that it's ending or whatever with this person, 
okay? But if things are good for you right now and you feel the love and, and you are happy in that relationship, don't, don't take this as a sign that you need to leave them, okay? Don't put that worry into your head. Oh my gosh. And know your truth, group one. Remember what I said earlier about admitting to yourself, holding yourself accountable for some things in the past? We've all made mistakes. We've all made did things we regret. I mean, whew, this is an, another video for another day, but I'm not even going to start with mine, okay? Because this isn't about me right now, and I've healed my shit, and I've forgiven myself. Answer to a question, yes or no? Yes. The need to communicate clearly. Communicate clearly with him. Communicate clearly with that person around you. Communicate clearly with yourself. Know your truth, group one. One more card here. And look at that. There is no need to worry. As long as you have acceptance, compassion, and love in your heart, and you're open to receiving you're going to be okay, group one. Dance through life. Dance down this fucking life path and enjoy it. And while you're doing it, express your individuality. Surrender to that full inner power and that inner peace. Respect yourself. Respect those around you as well. Have radical acceptance in the here and now, group one. Woo! He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Your spirit team loves you. There's always an option for peaceful resolutions in your life, okay? Remember, it's happening for you and not to you. And this too shall pass, okay? This right here, you're going to be feeling very vulnerable. But that's going to be your wake-up call, okay? Moon phases also. I'm being drawn to point that out, okay? I hope it helps, and I hope it resonated, and just know that you're very, very loved by him, and everybody in your life is going to be okay. Hello, group two. So as I'm putting up the cards from group one, which was pretty powerful reading, I'm curious if it's going to be of the same energy, I was very drawn to get, for you group two, a message from heaven card, okay? So somebody has passed on loved one. They would like for you to know that it is not your fault. And they really would, they, they just hurt because you are hurting so bad and you're consuming yourself in guilt. And there's really no need for it because it was not your fault. There's no reason to blame you for anything, okay, group two? You had no way of knowing, first of all, is what they're saying. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> We're going to do this right now. So, they ha you had no way of knowing. And it's okay to let those emotions out and to cry about it. Tears cleanse the soul. <clears throat> it's going to help you release that. Stop holding it in, okay? And they have become one of your guides. Listen, it was destined for them to go that way. They're surrounded by loving animals, so maybe you had a, uh, a, uh, a childhood pet. They are with those childhood pets. Maybe you lost a pet here recently, but they are with them. You will be together again. They visit you, I want to say he, so I feel like it's a father or a grandfather figure, or maybe an uncle or something, but... They visit you in your dreams also, but you won't be together again anytime soon, but you will be, okay? See, it was his, their time to go. It was their time to go, and I'm just reaching in and pulling out. It's beautiful over there. They're so much better now. They're so, so much better now, and they're standing right next to you during this, okay? So get those goosebumps, yeah? Believe in yourself because you can do it, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, they're here helping you. Woo, 
Okay, well that's a little side note, so I'm going to have to ex put that in there and then continue with group three, okay? All right, group two, for those of you that chose the white chords, or, you know, if you're going by visual, the uh, surrender stubbornness, the white quartz is really good for eliminating bad habit, boosting vitality. It also helps to relieve headaches. And the white quartz stone is a master of healing. This means that it has a heightened capacity to deal with disorders of all kinds. So if you've been, for those who've been curious about something that would help them, it helps you let go of overwhelming responsibilities and limitations. All crystals are always, ha they always have some kind of positive healing within them. And I'm just cleansing the energy from group one, okay? I don't know how this group two is gonna go. I'm gonna set the police on fire. Um, also, you know, I'm, I'm smudging the area, but all my crystals help with cleansing the area as well. So you can set crystals in your home with the intention that it's going to help cleanse and absorb any negative energy. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So... <clears throat> A lot of people's emotions and these lower vibrational forces are being really amplified <clears throat> in this month of February. We had a lot going on cosmically. We had um, the new moon and then the February 2nd portal because that was on 2-2, 2, two, 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 two. And then we had the full moon here just a day or so ago. But on top of it, we have the 22nd portal coming up, the 222222 portal. So the whole month of February, and then not to mention, you know, the loneliness and the depression that comes with fucking Valentine's Day. Fuck that day, right? But anyways, it's all about coming to terms with yourself and realizing that you are your own best friend and you are your one true love. And God has been hearing your pleas. He is angels till, you know, let him know that you've been struggling a bit. Keep in mind that you do have to ask for help and help comes in all shapes and forms, right? We've got a couple more surrender cards here, so let's see. Also, if you were drawn to more than one, if you were drawn to both groups, that's fine also. I'm feeling like we had the black obsidian in group one and then this is the white quartz and it's like you're not seeing things as black or white anymore and there's black and white checkered floor right here too you are ready to experience abundance do not look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into it an exciting new world of possibilities surrender yourself to the success so group two this i feel the way these cards are falling is that you are coming out of this this is what you have turned your back on for yourself and you're stepping into this bright new and i mentioned portals earlier right it's like you're um stepping into a higher timeline for yourself yes and you are seeing things a little more clearly and with more positivity don't get me wrong you're going to have ups and downs still in the emotional and mental department but the important part is here and he is so proud of you right now <laughs> that you're not holding on to it and you are trying to say okay I have trust I have faith I know that he's got a plan for me he's got a plan of why this is happening he can take it he can help me Woo! doing good surrendering denial accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions so um yeah if you're coming from group one, welcome in. Because this kind of popped up in group one. Surrendering denial about things though. See how she's got a blindfold on? And he, God has untied the blindfold. And you're starting to see things about yourself in past instances. For some of you, you're just coming out of this and you're accepting it. You're accepting the truth of the matter in people or yourself. Um, and others, you are just now, you're smack dab in the middle of this fucking, this healing journey, okay? 
And as I, <laughs> I forgot, I lost my train of thought, but I'm pulling, um, I want to say a courtesy card, but they're not, they're a clarity card, but it's a courtesy card for you. No blame. Surrender denial. Do not blame yourself. And most importantly, do not point fingers and blame others for how you feel about situations pertaining to yourself. That is all on you, group two, okay? I, I'm a little tough love coming through from the big guy upstairs. It was a little bit of tough love in group one as well. There, okay, there's a difference between standing your ground and standing up for yourself and, and then blaming others blatantly for how situations cause you to feel, okay? This is a reflection. You're being, you know, things are being reflected back at you and it's your own inner turmoils and thoughts and things that are projecting out towards this person you're interacting with and reflecting back at you. It's not them, it's essentially you. Hmm. Let's see what this card is. Oh, shit. Ego sublimination. Vanishing mirror. Look at that. We've got two mirrors here. Number 58 or number 13. Ego sublimination. Oh, yes. Group two. You guys are beautiful. You're kind-hearted. You're sweet. You can be nurturing when you feel the need to. But that ego of yours... No placing blame on other people or shame or judgment. Look in the mirror, my loves. Look in the mirror. Make your choices based on your truth. So you are going to be surrendering that denial. You're going to be taking off the blindfold. And you're going to be taking a long, cold, hard look at yourself in the mirror. And seeing and experiencing your truth. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see what the fairy message is. Ooh, everything happens in perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. So whatever it is, okay, you could be wanting to leave um, a job or um, cut ties in a relationship, whether this be with friend, family, romantically, and they're wanting me to pull a romantic card, so... Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations are helping you. So this is confirmation that he hears you. He knows that you're asking for help or, you know, he, he, it's just confirmation that he hears you, my loves, okay? It may be time to make necessary sacrifices. It's the perfect time to make those sacrifices. You might be scared to step out on your own, to venture out. You might be feeling like you're a little bound and blindfolded. Trust and have faith that it's time. This cycle that keeps going on, that keeps repeating itself, is happening for you, not to you. And it's to get you to kind of have that realization of things around you. You're going to be okay, though. There is nothing to fear about venturing into the unknown alone. You're going to be okay. Number six, the diamond dreamer. Material wealth and true prosperity. So I feel like group two, this is what you guys, maybe you've been a little too worried about material wealth. You're, that's, like, it's not the thing to be worried about right now. Sure, we can dream about having these bigger and better things, but I feel like it's too much, you've got too many ties to the material wealth right now, and it's essentially being needed to release that. Look at the abundance that you already have. Be satisfied with what you have. This is a lesson that needs to be learned for you, group two, is to accept and be happy with the stuff you have in your life already. You have true prosperity coming towards you, though. And look, we've got treat yourself to something you wouldn't normally do for you. You wouldn't normally do for you, and that might be to make a necessary sacrifice. 
That might be to take a long car hold look in the mirror. Your third eye is expanding at this time also. But just know that you are never alone. There's always people here for you. Your spirit team, your angels, God, Jesus, Buddha. There is a deepening going on. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. And before we can completely have this detachment and surrender, there are things that are, are going to be coming and surfacing about you and situations and people around you, group two. Okay? I think, I feel like some of you are already seeing the truth. You're already a little woke on some aspects of things. <clears throat> Maybe perhaps you're seeing, you know, how corrupt our fucking government and politics really are. Even our law enforcement, the judicial systems, all of that. It's, you know, controlled by higher, um, darker powers. So just know that peace is on the way. It's just something that you're having to deal with. You're having to release and shed these old things. You're shedding a, an old skin right now. I'm being guided to advise you to take as many showers as you can. That, and as you're showering or bathing, imagine that it's white light, white healing light coming out of the, in with the water. Okay. Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. So there's a sense of balancing the um, 3D material realm with the spiritual or, you know, the religious. But I feel like some of you guys are, have either you haven't really big, been big religion, religious people, or you're starting to shed, there's this deepening and this deeper sense of awareness, and you're starting to shed some old conditioned beliefs around that subject. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. So this might be an unbearable cross to bear for you, group two. The thing is, okay, you're going to get through it, and you're going to overcome it. And you're going to learn the lessons that you need to learn in order to keep going forward. Don't let your fear hold you back. Don't let your ego talk you out of it. Anytime you start to strive forward and take those blindfolded steps forward, something comes up. What if we step in a pothole? What if we fall off the path? What if we walk into a bush of stickers? That's your ego trying to instill that fear into you, my loves. Don't let it. Don't let it control you anymore. And you're not going to. It's going to be okay. Number nine, fern. And I have to get the book meaning for this one because I did in group one as well. You could be a life path number nine. Maybe a sense of needing to look into your birth chart. Also, you need to know your exact time of birth to get the complete details. But it'll give you a bigger sense of why you're here and what you came back to earth to do, okay? Pulling the fern card is an indication that you may have some lower vibrations swirling around you. Perhaps you have toxic people in your life, such as a cruel co-worker, a critical parent, or a gossiping friend. It's easy to get trapped in lower vibrational energies, especially when that is what you know, but you are an enlightened soul and can rise above through the negativity and stagnation. Fern guides you to reach for the light, even when there is only darkness surrounding you. Meet negativity with high vibrational energies like compassion, curiosity, and empathy. Staying in your light helps others to remember their own. Lost souls could simply need someone who is willing to listen with a loving heart that is free of judgment. If nothing else, stay in your right. Staying in your light protects you from those who are not ready to have a joyful and heart-centered existence. Ooh. You are not a failure, group two. You are not failing at anything. Everything happens for a reason. When we fuck something up or we make a mistake, it's our chance to say, okay, I'm going to learn from that and I'm going to be, do better forward. Or it's also an opportunity to look at it from a different perspective. Okay, well, this is what went wrong and this is what I did wrong, so let's go this route. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Exactly. It's an opportunity to learn.
Oh yeah. Nature, getting into nature, getting grounded, very essential here. And he, we've got this guy here and he's like in the middle of the forest, right? Maybe getting you some, a fern, an ivy plant. You know, your, your team and God has been sending you several signs in nature as well. I'm seeing butterflies here and birds and moths as well. Take a walk. Let the beauty of nature feed your soul. And you're going to have this deep sense to just all of a sudden get out into nature. You're not going to be able to deny it. And maybe that's what you've already been doing. And look, love. That heart center. This is the most powerful energy. This is all what God's about. Is love only. If a man wants to love a man. If they truly love each other and they're happy. Then what's the problem? God says there's no problem in it. He says. They are not failures in life. Oh man. Okay. Hold on. He's, I, he's wanting to speak through me and I get, I'm just getting a little nervous because that's the big guy upstairs, you know what I mean? Go out, go for that walk in that beautiful field. Take some time in nature, contemplate. Be open-minded, set out with the intention that you're going to be open-minded and you're gonna hear what he's trying to show you and let you know. Do not be fearful of judgment from him. He, is really wanting you to accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Subliminate that ego, okay? You have been taught your entire life the wrong way, he says. Your religion, aside from the faith and the love and the trust, most religions have been manipulated. They have manipulated your thought processes. They have manipulated your ways of thinking. They've made you really stubborn in areas where you really shouldn't be stubborn about. You shouldn't be so judgmental. You sh we shouldn't want to point fingers, okay? And I feel like somebody here is really wanting to trust that love is all we need. But they're also fearful of being condemned to hell. And that's not the case. That is not what's going to happen. Okay, and those, for those of you who are mentally in this mindset about worrying about other people and how they're living their life, you, th they're just fine. Okay, stop trying to lay shame and judgment on those people. Okay, we're going to do this again. We shame them for being different, for some sinning, committing a crime. We shame them, we judge them, we blame them. We have anger towards them, okay? And then we put in this hand with us who are just here to live and be open and trust and love. We put love and kindness and consideration and compassion in this hand. And so here's your religion that has conditioned you to think those negative ways around those people who are different than us. And here's us. Meditation, chakra alignment. Crystals, tarot cards, spells, candle magic, all of it, right? Well, we're okay. We're going to be okay. We're not being condemned to hell because we use these divination tools that were created to speak with him, okay? We work and we have heartfelt intention and we ha cause harm to none. But if God was to come down here and pick a hand... Well, in this hand, I've got shame and judgment. And in this hand, I have kindness and consideration and compassion. Which hand do you think God's going to pick? That's not this dirty one over here. This is my left hand, too. This is your fucking ego. We're going to transmute that. He's going to pick the one with kindness and consideration and love. Choose love. Let your love become a powerful force for change. Because I know you want it to. I know you want it to. You want... 
You want to be at peace. You want to have joy and you want to prosper in life and you want to live life and you want to be happy, right? You will have achievement in this. Look at this big ass moth here too. You will have achievement in this, group two. And look at her, she's out in nature playing. Let that inner child come out. Chase your dreams. You may be surprised where they laid you. Think your inner child, just like group one, is wanting to come out and play too. If you wanted to go <clears throat> run in the woods, go explore the woods, swing, go ride a scooter. I mean, whatever it is your little heart is desiring to go do, go let that inner child play. Be kind to it and mother it like you didn't get the mothering to yourself whenever you were that child. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition and trust in perfect timing. The time is now to journey within for these things, okay? It's time to take a long, hard look in that mirror. Take that blindfold off and see yourself, okay? Don't judge yourself. Don't blame yourself either. Don't hold guilt or grief. Hold accountability and take responsibility. Okay, yeah, for example, I was a selfish bitch. My, I, I let somebody babysit my kids and I went out and I went bar hopping and I partied a lot. I sewed my fucking oats because I was in a very toxic, narcissistic relationship for 15 years of my life. And those would have been the years I would have been like having fun and just really living it up before I settled down, right? Early 20s, right? But I can't point fingers at people who made me feel crappy about myself and I can't, I can't hold guilt. I released it all. I am proud of what I did. I am happy for what I did because I wouldn't be the person I am today. I would not be where I'm at today. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Look at this. See? I've learned from my mistakes. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Group two. See? This is the way to look at it. Don't beat yourself up, loves. God is like, you know, they, they want you to have take accountability. But he doesn't want you to hold judgment towards yourself. Express your feelings. Maybe this is something you wouldn't normally do. Is really laying it out there on the table. Ask him to help you. He will help you. He's more than happy to help you. Alright God. Thank you. It'll be effortless. Whenever you ask for his help. It'll be, you'll be, it'll be effortless to speak your truth. To that person that you need to speak it to. About your thoughts. Your feelings. Or how they make you feel about things. Maybe you need to speak to yourself in the mirror. We've got blessings coming in for you, my loves. True offerings. A lot of blessings. You're going to be very well compensated for your time and your healing and your surrendering. Look at this. Compassion. Give and receive give and receive. It's hard for you to receive love from other people because you're not happy with yourself. So you got to be open. Start by trusting their kind words to you. Start by trusting those words. And when you start having these negative thoughts about yourself, turn it around, bitch. Turn that shit upside down. Turn that frown upside down, okay? Reflect that negative judgment towards others and yourself with a positive. You can even say, oh, I did not mean that. I take it back. Okay, I'm catching myself. This is what we're doing now. Right? I love it for you. I love it, group two. You're going to be seeing things from a whole new perspective. The light is shining for you. And it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for you. It's going to be okay, okay? And it's okay to need direction sometimes. It's okay. This point is, is that you take that bold step forward into wanting to heal your cosmic wound, heal that divine feminine energy in you, okay? And this could be a gestation period you're going through. These cycles and these thought patterns are keep coming up and cycling around and around. There's a lot of cards in this deck for you. Don't fear the future, okay? There's good things here coming for you. And you're going to have that courage to step into life or that courage to step out on your own. Because once you do, the sky is the limit. 
there's going to be a limitless possibility for you. And it all starts with forgiveness. Forgiveness of others around you. Forgiveness of yourself. Woof. All right, group two. It was a pleasure to read for you. I hope it helps. And remember, he is always there with you. He is always trying to show you the way. He's always trying to give you help. He's always trying to give you the answers. And you're going to start seeing those signs. You're going to start seeing the way the light is lighting up for you on that path, okay? Joy is coming towards you, like-minded individuals. Find someone who can really confide, you can confide in. I feel like there's somebody that could have been telling you, you know, I'm always here. You might not know this person very well, but they're always there and they honestly, truthfully mean that they are always there for an ear or if you have ideas to reflect back at them. Write a letter if you need to. Write a letter to yourself or to God in the universe. Putting pen to paper always helps get thoughts and feelings out. Oh, goodness. I really just don't want this to end, group two. I think you feel better, though. And I, I'm, I'm glad this has helped you, my loves, okay? And um, if it resonated, feel free to look at some of the other videos on here, okay? It's just, you know, they're just divination tools, my loves. There's no harm in them. At all. Love and light.